hi everyone welcome back so the last video we have seen what are the different configurations available in the project now in this video because we are going to use mocha as a framework we need to understand we need to understand the very basics what exactly is mocha and how it works so let's understand and if you have seen this test file it has been written something that describe and it so what is mocha first let's just Go in the official website of Mocha. And you have the first link, Mocha.js. If you open, it's a feature rich JavaScript test engine framework running on Node.js in the browser. Okay. So you can use any JavaScript, uh, you know, it's a JavaScript test framework, and you can make use of this in the Node.js based framework, right? You have the details of the Mocha. You can go through the official website. I'll leave the link in the description, right? Now, how exactly this works? So you will have something called describe and then you have it block. So describe is like your complete feature. You, are, you have one feature to test. So you write that in describe, you'll describe it. And then you have it block means the test scenarios. Each test scenario should, you know, uh, one it block should show one test cases. That's how, you know, you need to write the test case in Mocha. Now let's create a sample, not with related to WebDriver IO. So what I'll do in the root project, I'll set test.ts1 sample file I'll create, okay? And now if you want to run your Mocha or you want to create a Mocha test, first you need to have a feature. You need to, so you need to have describe. I'm getting our suggest suggestion, but you can type it if you're not getting. Describe and then open and small, open and close bracket. In that double quote, you need to describe your scenario or the feature so example for example i want to feature my login i want to test my login feature so you, you can describe it then after the double quote comma and give one space and then again open and close bracket small space arrow function space open and close curly bracket so this is your structure describe key open and close a small bracket inside that in the double quote you can describe you can write the description comma small open and close bracket arrow function that is equal to and greater than and then curly bracket open and close and from curly bracket open and close i'll click enter so this is your feature inside feature you can write your test so for example now a test should be it block so it again the format is uh, same double quote inside you can describe comma open and close small bracket again arrow function again curly bracket open and close that's the format it's the same as described that just key changes as it block and then i'll click enter you can here you can see login test one now this is the basic structure we need to have the description of a describe that, that means the feature and the description of the test and then inside this you write your actual code whatever you want to write and in one feature you, you can have multiple test scenarios similarly in one describe block you can have multiple test scenarios as well so you can say test one login test one login test two and then when you run now let's try to run only this mocha file we are not going to write any web driver io code where it opens the browser but it is just a normal standalone mocha test that we are trying to execute now let me open the terminals the shortcut is command j or control j in the keyboard and now if you want to run your mocha test in the same web driver io project if you are trying to run outside of this project folder you might get error because you don't have mocha dependency but you will be able to use run here because we already have mocha all the dependency required already available here right so let's say you, the command would be npx mocha space and the file name the file name is test.ts in the root project if you are keeping any other project folder you need to define like dot slash the project folder name and then the file name here i'm keeping the root project so i'll say test.ts enter now you will see first whatever your feature will be printed that is feature login that is printed and then there's a two test login test one and login test two and both are passed i have not written anything inside here which make it fail so as of now it is just passing and it is giving me the result right so this is how you can group your test cases in the mocha framework so it's a way of grouping 
or organizing your test in, in a certain way to build a framework. Now you can have multiple it blocks. So if you want to have code, you can have, I'll just copy paste it. So I'll just copy this two, paste here, change it to login three, login four. And then if you run again, you will have the four test cases pass, right? Uh, I can say here, valid login test one, valid login test two, this one invalid login test one, sometimes when you're testing with valid scenario you can say valid and then you, you test with invalid login as well right invalid login test so we have four different scenarios of a login where uh, first two is the valid with a valid user and the second last two is the invalid user that's how you write your test cases right now what happens uh, in out of you you have 10 um, sorry four scenarios and you want to skip some due to some reason you want to skip any of the you know test case here so how do you skip it whether one way is that you can just commit it out and then if you run so if you run then you will run only three okay valid login test one login test two invalid login test two this one has been skipped because you have commented out obviously but without commenting if you want to skip it just say it after it word here after it you see dot skip so if you dot say dot skip and then you run your test again first two executed this has been pending you will see and then that third fourth one is again executed so three pass and one is pending pending is nothing but skipped item right so that's how you can skip a mocha test case what if i want to run out of 10 there are 10 uh, tests i have written but i want to execute only one for you know testing my that piece of code how you can do that you can say after it block or it again you can say dot only so if you say dot only now let's try to run again you will see only this particular test has been executed in valid login test 2 which i have mentioned here right so this is the way you can run only that particular now suppose you have two test file here and if you say only this only is applicable to only this file and if you have other files that will execute all the test cases so this only is applicable to particular this file alone if you have other files and you're running all three files together then it will run this only one and then other in other files it will run all the test cases so just be mindful about that now um, what else we can check yes when you are trying to you are writing a test you want to execute you know some code before everything else executed for example in some cases it's not a good practice but just to, to consider you want to perform login only once in the test and then log out at the end of the test after all the execution has been completed that's not a best practices but just to understand that you want to perform login uh, run all the four or five tests and then at the last you want to do log out so that is like you you are going to write every in it block you're going to write login uh, do something log out so this is not a, possible here because you want to do it only once so what you can do you can use hooks of mocha available that is called before now in before again the format is same you know keyword then bracket description comma open and close bracket arrow function curly bracket open and close enter now you can add a description here okay like login app and then if you want to add like perform at the end something you can write here instead of before you can say after and here say logout app now be mindful this description will not be displayed as we are dis displaying here for it block for before and after you will not see any description appearing because this is not a test it's a prerequisite and the post requisite like prerequisite and after the test you know what you want to do for example if i run the test now you will see only four test cases you will not see any details of this and this so how you will understand what it does maybe i can write a console.log and i'll show you i am logging in one second logging in to application and here i am logging out application 
right so these two console dot just to show you how it works now let me run it again so the first here result is the feature name then only one time i am logging into the application that means before any test this before block has been executed and there is a console.log the code then all the test has been executed and at the end after each after end that means at the end i am logging out from the application so this one executed only once before anything started and this one executed at last after everything has finished so this is a hooks of before and after there might be a scenario where you want to perform login before each block before each test case is not just you know like not just before all four but before each block starts you perform a login and after each it block completes you perform a logout and then so and so forth for all other so then what we, there is something called before each and after each right so now if i run my test case i have just changed before to before each and after to after each uh, just and let me run the test now things are different here first description that is feature login then before each block says i am logging to the application performing the test one i am logging out again i am logging in again performing test two logging out again logging again invite login logging out logging again logging out uh, sorry if performing test and the logging out so before each block this before uh, before so before test started each block every time this and this code has been executed so these are the use of before and each now let me just remove this before i think yeah uh, one more thing to cover in the mocha now if you notice here these two are related to valid login and these two are invalid login. We can group the test cases for better you know, readability when you are writing a test. So obviously we are grouping based on the feature here, but let's uh, group some similar test cases in one. So how we can group the test cases for the Sangha. So you can have something called nested describe and it blocks in the mocha. What is nested describe means or inside the describe, you can have one more describe block and you can say valid scenarios formats are same now so i'm not going to explain it again and then i'll put all these valid related tests here i'll write one more describe and I'll say invalid scenarios or yeah not scenarios but invalid login test i can say but yeah just to make you understand so now what i did i moved my let me just format it right click format document yeah so i inside a describe block i've created another to describe in first inside first describe i've kept my two test cases with the valid users and then in, in the next describe i've kept invalid users now let's see how it gives the result now you'll see this nested result first feature level report then you have a nested block that is valid scenario under that two test then invalid scenario under that two test so this is how you can group the test so yeah i think we have seen how we can write a simple mocha test what is described what is it block you know how we can have you know we can have multiple it blocks in the single describe block we can have nested describe and it blocks in the to group the test cases we have seen how to skip any test or how we can run only one test among multiple or 10 or something so i think this is all from the next video let's jump into writing the actual test cases of webdriver you that's all for this video thank you so much